Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today I'm going to be talking about John Harper's Blades in the Dark and setting specific rules. So, John Harper has just released Blades in the Dark. It's it is a um, it is a comet that has hit the tabletop role playing game industry. Um, I'm not I'm not sure that a, a ton of people know about it and are playing it, but I will guarantee you every serious tabletop role playing game designer out there is looking at this game and reading this game and seeing what Harper has done. Harper is a tabletop role playing game design savant. He is he is creating tabletop role playing games at a level that nobody else in the industry is is even approaching. He's like the Michelangelo of tabletop role playing games. Uh, Blades in the Dark, I really feel, is a turning point for the industry. It really is a massive turning point for the industry. So one of the things that he's bringing forward is setting specific rules. Okay. Now this is this is not new. All right. Um, indie games have always talked about setting specific rules. Right. And there have been a lot of people on the the story games side. You'll hear that term thrown about every now and then. Uh, but people who are into indie tabletop role playing games have been saying this for a long time. They're saying. Hey, uh, GURPS is terrible. Don't just use the same rule set for all worlds. Um, you know, use the use use rules that that really fit with the setting, right? Now, I've heard this for you know well over a decade, and I never really thought this was uh, a good idea at all. Um, I was like, no, that's the bad idea. And uh, the reason why is I. I like, you know, Cypher is a perfect example. Cypher is an exceptionally good tabletop role-playing game design uh, designed rule set, and it can be used to, to run in any world, right? But what it what has really changed with John Tarper's Blades in the Dark is execution, right? There was a concept that existed before, which is saying, hey, meld your rules into your setting. And everybody understood the concept, but nobody executed it the way the way John Harper is executing it right now. The rules for um, for Blades in the Dark are perfectly matched with a Victorian steampunk crime game, okay? And there's, there's all these, you know, uh, a good example is there are rules mechanics in here for what happens when you go to prison, okay? And, um, and, and those rules for how you roll and, and hold and these different concepts really match the idea of being in prison, right? And it's not just a plus two here or advantage, roll two dice, you know? It's it's really fundamentally rules that are that are woven into the setting, okay? It's it's so strong and, and such a better example than anything has ever than anyone has ever accomplished before in tabletop role playing game that it, it, it immediately snapped into my mind what should be the next step for Dungeons and Dragons, right? Because, I, you know, I, or man, I, I really don't want to insult John Harper, uh, and, I, and I hope this doesn't, but John Harper has built, uh, okay, let's talk about it. All right, so this is a Victorian steampunk crime game, right? Right out of the gate, you, you lost 75% of the market. Like, there's just, there's not that many fans on Victorian setting, you know, Victorian steampunk crime fans like that's not even that much of a thing right but John Harper built it because he's passion he his art is just full of passion and he is uncompromising he's like a brilliant genius who's like I know best and I'm going to craft what I want to craft and I'm going to blaze a trail where nobody else even knows a path can be made right and so so when he did, so basically, I really feel like the setting is going to keep his game from getting to be a mass, a mass, um, a mass success, a, a success at the mass market level, right? But his rules design will, at, will I guarantee you, sixth edition will contain concepts from Blades in the Dark, right? Monty Cook Games will have ideas from. From, that they'll have inspiration. They don't steal them, right? Um, we'll have concepts that were born in Blades in the Dark. Probably this year, Monty Cook's Cook Game will have ideas that Fred Hicks, right? He has a relationship with this guy now. You know, like they can really start to bring some of these awesome ideas 
into the fate side or into some of the new projects they're going to do, right? But when I see what when I see what Harper has accomplished, I know what they need to do next for for uh, not sixth edition Dungeons and Dragons for the next Dungeons and Dragons books, right? So one Dungeons and Dragons is in a special space right now. I think they are sp they're specifically not putting out important books right now. It's all just these scrub adventures. And the reason why is the movie's coming. Fifth edition is a, is a gleaming gem in the tabletop role-playing game industry. It's the best version that's ever been written of Dungeons & Dragons. And so they want that thing there and pristine and not crapped up with a bunch of source books when, uh, when the movie hits. And they're 100% right. That's absolutely correct, right? So, so the idea I'm about to say, they can't do it until the movie comes out, right? And, and they need to hold off and let the book stand so that when the movie comes out, it's there. But what should be the next Dungeons & Dragons book is Eberron, right? And I'm just picking that one at random. You could do the same thing with Dark Sun, right? You should have a Dungeons & Dragons Eberron core rule book. And it should change one third of the rules for Dungeons & Dragons, right? So two thirds of the rules for Eberron core rule book, which is a 350 page, one volume, Monster Manual Guide, DMG, PHB, a great big tome, just the way Pathfinder shown it could be done, okay? One book for everybody, the players and the Game Master, one book carrying all three, the MM, the PHB, and the DMG, all bound to Eberron, and with a third or even half the rules switched to be perfectly melded with Eberron. And then six months later, do the same thing with Dark Sun. And that way, it's all contained in one book. It's brilliant. It's brilliant. And I didn't see it until I saw Harper's work, right? Harper is like, man, this dude, like, it's like watching a guy just hitting three, three pointers nonstop, you know, from half court. You've got to buy, um, if you care about role playing games, buy Blades in the Dark. Blades in the Dark is immensely important to the industry. Check it out. Take care.